Welcome on board. Striking doctors are now asking the president to intervene and bring to a close the striking the strike that entered its 20th day on Tuesday. KMPD leaders say the efforts by the Ministry of Health and Labor as well as some county governments have failed to, re to realize an agreement that will see the doctors return to hospitals. The doctors have faulted the Ministry of Health for rene reneging on the contents of the CB of 2017. Antonio Sindua, who has been covering these, brings us the latest. This strike will only end. Wakati serikali itamuka na itasema iko CBA 2017. Correct. Imetimizwa. Apana. Situanze kutimiza leo. Correct. Madaktari ndo wao watakimbia. In fact, tutakimbia mbio. Striking doctors have urged President William Ruto to intervene their statement with the Minister of Health, which has seen them boycott work for three weeks now. Situanze kutimiza leo. Correct. Madaktari ndo wao watakimbia. In fact, tutakimbia mbio. Kutoka maali tuko maandamano mba kwa hospitali. Lakini tukianza kufutana, sisi siyo fahali, sisi ni panya, tumekaliwa na ndovu. The medics have downed their tools since March 14th in a protest to the government's failure to post medical interns and the health ministry's non-adherence to the medics 2017 collective bargaining agreement CBA. Kama wanachama wa KMPDU haturudi nyuma, tunatetea haki yetu na haki hii haikuja rahisi. Watu walifungwa ili CBA ikapatikana. Kwa hivyo, tuko katika hali ya mgomo mpaka serikali itakapuacha mgomo hao. As the strike entered its 20th day on Tuesday, the Kenya Medical Practitioners and Dentist Union KMPDU Secretary Davja Taylor implored President Ruto to intervene, maintaining that they will not back down until their demands are met. You cannot change a legally binding contract and the sooner they advise her that way they should stop wasting her time chasing the wind she has only one option to implement the cba as it is and then negotiate for a newer one where we can now have a discussion on what she's finding problematic maybe she thinks or she finds that the money we are given was little she wants to add us more ruto has kept mom on the doctor's strike since it began only dispatching his chief of staff felix koske to broker negotiations between doctors and the health ministry on march 21st where the talks were however unfruitful <laughs> Atela said that they are determined to go on with the strike for months, arguing that the health ministry has exhibited a contemptuous attitude in the negotiations. And the head of the government we know is the head of the, the, the head of state we know is the president. So it's upon him to actually solve this particular impasse that continue existing. Because in, with governors, with ministers, we are seeing ego plays. He held the government responsible for suffering of Kenyans whose health care has been in their service since last month. If any persons die in the hospitals, if, or if they fail to get the health care. The pr problem squarely goes to the government. Talks between KMPDU and the health ministry have been unfruitful as medics accuse the government of non-compliance with the court's directives, intimidation and refusal to adjust their stance. <laughs> Clinical officers on Monday joined doctors in the downing their tools, further worsening the medical crisis in level 2 to level 5 hospitals nationwide. Tonight, a service at 4,172 4, level 2, also 1,217 level 3, 3,376 level 4, and also 14 level 5 facility will be disrupted. We have left Kenyatta, we have left MTRH, where clinic officers are actually the ones who are running those facilities right now. So for now, because of those who are critical, we are not going to affect uh, Kenyatta and uh, MTRH. But then if, we are, if the negligence is going to continue, we will have to ask the patients to look for alternative because now we'll have to withdraw everybody. In a mounting crisis within the health sector, the Kenya Environmental Health and Public Health Care Practitioners Union, alongside the pharmaceutical technologists and nutritionists, have issued an ultimatum to the Minister of Health. The governor, who is actually trying to threaten or to intimidate doctors, he should intimidate them with checks that have seven years arrears instead of shockers letters and mere theatrics. Number two, expedite the promotions of all doctors who are due for promotions. We have doctors who have stagnated for 10 years 
15 years in the entry levels and some governors have moral authority to stand in cameras and threaten them. It's a shame. shame. With a looming seven-day deadline, the unions have laid down three non-negotiable demands, threatening to escalate their actions by joining the ongoing doctor strike if their grievances remain unaddressed. We have doctors do not have, don't have comprehensive medical cover. And we are demanding that any county or any employer who, show, who, who, who wishes to demand doctors back to work need to provide this comprehensive medical cover. We want the issues of salaries to be addressed. It is a sad state that we are seated in Kenyaga today talking with doctors who have not seen salaries for the last 65 days. At a press conference convened by the Union of Pharmaceutical Technologies, the Union for Nutritionists, and the Kenya Health Professional Society, the unions asserted their primary demand for recognition. Antonio Sundua, Maisha Prime, Maisha TV. Tensions.